Welcome back to Stop the Clock with Brad. I want to start off by saying diets don't work. Nope, they don't. But great lifestyles do. I want to talk to you about a study I read about in Arnold Schwarzenegger's email. I get one every day. It was in the uh, Journal of Consumer Psychology. And it talked about people on long-term diets. When they come off, they go crazy and they eat and it just doesn't work. They don't stick with it. And I'm a firm believer in that. So I got some questions after my video on walking where I said I was in Belgium and I was drinking beer. I put a beer in the video. I've been out in public. People are shocked at my age. They'll send me with a beer at a concert. I'm going, wait, you're an anti-ager? You look like that and you drink beer? I'm like, sure. You can do anything in moderation. And that's the key, moderation. I live what you call like a 90-10 type lifestyle where 90% of the time I'm following my carnivore code. The other 10%, I'm doing whatever the hell I want to. So if you just keep on a diet and you never go off, eventually you're going to break and eat all kinds of stuff you probably should not for too long. So in 2016, I went on the keto diet. I was weighing around 230 something pounds. Got on keto, leaned up to 209. I looked great. But during those 90 days, I didn't have sugar. I didn't drink a beer, nothing. I'd see beers coming out. Ooh, I'd like to try that. Nothing. Now, as soon as I got off of that, had my first beer, and then had a traumatic experience in my life, my grandmother passing away, I fell off the deep end, ate what I wanted to, and bloomed back fatter than I was. Went from 230, finished up like around 270 eventually, right before I found this lifestyle. And that's the key. I found a lifestyle. I eat like I do most of the time. I'll take every couple of weekends off, have a little something. Or if I'm just out and feel like having something, I have it. The difference is now I'll have that one beer at a meeting on a Thursday. I don't have five. I don't drink two more when I come home and three more the next day. I have that beer. I go to a beer festival with my friends. I have a few of those tasters. The difference is I don't have enough for I'm trash drunk. Then we go to a bar, drink there, and go back to a friend's house and drink more. I'm there in that moment of time. When I have my plans comes off, what I call a refeed. You'll have a refeed like bodybuilders, so I'm going to refeed and get calories up. Mine's getting calories up, but it's also letting me have whatever kind of trash food I feel like for those two days. So, you know, uh, zingers, like these things, they're my favorite food in the world. They're some of the most processed food there is. But vanilla zingers, God, I love them. Not the chocolate, not the strawberry, have you? Just the vanilla. And so when I come off, that's the treat I choose. I have the three, just the three, vanilla zingers. Now in the past, if we buy a box for the house, I might eat 10 of those vanilla zingers in two days. My kids can attest to this. That's the difference now. I don't keep them around me. And then once every, I don't know, six months, I have my vanilla zingers. Are they carnivore code? No. Are they what's best for longevity? No. Are they best what's for my longevity? Yes. Because I know my personality. If I stay restrictive for a long, long time, and if anything happens, I'll come off and I'll want to eat, eat everything all at once. Like that movie. I want to eat everything everywhere all at once. And that's what's not healthy. So being able to moderate yourself on a longevity lifestyle to me, that's really the key. I'll see people yell at me on forums because I advocate a good lifestyle, having balance and don't do this. And they're like super restrictive. There's a uh, keto guy. He claims he's never been off keto. I believe him, but it seems impossible to me that you don't want to indulge every now and then. Because guess what? What's necessarily good for your looks isn't always healthy. And what's always healthy isn't, also, isn't necessarily always what's just good for you. So I can come off, eat what I want to, and then within two days of being back fasting, back on my carnivore lifestyle, those pounds are gone. Those seed oils that I get, they'll be gone in a few months. And again, I'm eating those one time, not every night. And so that's what I wanted to talk about this week. It's nothing like crazy, but it seems like so many of the gurus out there are just talking about you know, you don't eat red meat, you don't have sugar, you don't have alcohol. Well, there's so much good food out there, so many different cultures. We want to try things. The key is 
just not eating trash food every night all the time, not drinking every night all the time, doing it in moderation, eating well most of the time, going to the gym three to five days a week, walking, sleeping, doing these things. If we do these things and live a 90, 10, maybe 80, 20 type lifestyle, we're going to be doing better than probably 95% of the population out there. So I wanted to get that out there. I don't want people to think that all I ever eat is red meat and all I ever drink is water. No, that's what I eat about 90% of the time. The other 10% of the time, it's basically I eat whatever I want to. So that's it. If you liked the video, give me a thumbs up. If you enjoyed joining the channel, you haven't subscribed yet, please subscribe. Thanks everybody that has. If you haven't signed up for our Stop the Clock Facebook group, uh, it's right here. Just hop on Facebook and uh, apply to get in and I'll for sure let you in. So everybody, have a great day and remember, aging is a choice.